I need to make one thing very clear, and this is extremely important because a lot of yeah, it's the shop king. Yeah, it's shop king time. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Shop king in the house. Today we are going to talk about rare pets on Animal Jam. These seem to be one of the most popular items in the game right now, and I'm cost. Co co constantly struggling with how to talk I'm constantly getting asked how do you get this how do you get that how do you get it how do you get a dove how do you get one of the how do you get this how do you get this how do you get this in this video I'm going to explain to you how you get every single rare pet okay they're kind of in different categories all right some of them are from the toy box as you can see there are four different toy box rare pets some of them come from the adopt a pet blind dance and some of them come from play sets so we're going to talk about every single one let's go ahead start down here at the beginning firefly so when you buy some adopt a pets each one comes with a code and you put the code in and depending on which pet you got you'll either get gems or diamonds or maybe a rare pet but each code counts towards your checklist and when you put in 15 codes you get the firefly that's the very first rare toy box pet so 15 adopt a pet codes gives you the firefly up next is the grasshopper in order to get the grasshopper you have to put in 30 codes and when you put in 40 codes you get the ladybug and then the last one in the toy box is the mantis and the mantis costs 65 codes 65 that is a lot of codes that's almost like three whole cases worth of adopt -a pets just to get the mantis so that's actually a pretty rare pet. Okay, moving right along. Let's um let's do the gold ones. These do not come from adopt -a pets. These come from a play set. The gold bunny comes from Pet Stop Pals, and the gold pony comes from Safari Pets. The rare phantom, you get that from Jammer's Juice Party, another play set. But beware because there are a couple of different rare phantoms out there. There's a rare members phantom, like you can buy it in the game, you can buy a, a rare phantom. The rare non-member phantom is the good one and you only can get that from Jammer's Juice Party. Oh, and there's one more gold pet, one more rare gold pet. It's the golden armadillo. I've only ever seen one player with it and I'm pretty sure they work for Animal Jam or Jazz Wares or something. The rare golden armadillo comes with the Jama Adventure playset, but that was never released. So um, you're not going to get that, sorry. And now we're going to move on to the Adopt-A-Pet series. There have been a bunch of different series. I guess we might as well start with series one, right? That makes sense. Up first, we've got the squirrel. So if you buy a whole bunch of Series 1 adopter pets and you happen to find a sparkly, glitterly peacock numbered 1-21, that is the toy that gives you the squirrel. Okay? That's the only way you can get it. Also in series one is the mouse. If you happen to find a sparkly glittery butterfly, number 1-49, that gives you the rare pet mouse. So that's series one. These aren't worth near as much as these because they made a ton of series one. Like there is a whole bunch of series one out there. So that's why they are lower. Okay. Uh, series treasure actually came next. Treasure was between series one and series two. Okay. 
and treasure was only available at Walmart it was a Walmart exclusive so it wasn't in a whole bunch of different stores just Walmart and another interesting thing treasure is the only series that has just one rare pet every other series had two rare pets the rare pet seal you, you buy yourself a whole bunch of treasure chests animal jam adopted pet treasure chest and you open it up and you find a white snake shimmerway 1-112 you see this purple star thingy oh ho 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 Oh ho ho ho, if you find one of those bad boys and you redeem that code, you got yourself a rare pet seal, buddy. Now let's move on to series two. I actually don't have any of the series two rare pets, but I can tell you what they are and show you what they are. Series two was igloos. They came in little igloos, which was pretty cool. They were available at Target and Walmart. Of course, with all of the adopt pets you can't find them in stores anymore. Um, you still can find some on like Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. Like here's four Igloo series, 35 bucks for four of them, jeez. Whoa, 45 bucks for four? Okay, where were I? Oh yeah, series two. Series 2 Igloos, the very first rare pet is the rare pet otter. And if you find this lovely lady, a silver egg, she's purple and she's clear, all translucent and nice. If you find that right there, you get yourself a rare pet otter. And the other rare pet in the Series 2 Igloos is the rare pet groundhog. And that groundhog comes from Sir Wisp. If you open up an igloo, you find that right there, you got yourself a cool rare pet groundhog, but it's super hard to find series two. All of these are getting harder and harder to find. Okay, let's move on to series three, the cupcakes. The two rare pets that come from series three are the sloth and the duff. Let's talk about the sloth first. If you want the sloth, you're gonna wanna find this blue ladybug. It's clear, it's all translucent and sparkly and stuff. Looks like it's got a cheeseburger on its back for some reason. Do Lady is the name, 3-72. You find yourself Do Lady? Guess what you're gonna do, lady? You're gonna get yourself a rare pet sloth and of course the other rare pet in season three is the dove in order to get the dove you need to find this pinkish purplish squirrel with grapes on its face so if you get yourself the grape face squirrel miss bubble sprinkles 3-83 guess what can, can you guess you guessed it rare pet dove coming your way and now it's time to move on to the final series series four series four was called the cottages the first rare pet we're going to talk about is the hedgehog and i think this is one of the most popular pets in the game right now just because they didn't make as many series four as the other series and we'll talk about that a little bit later series four you want to find Misty Skunk. It's sort of a bluish, tealish, clear skunk. And it's got this purple dragon helmet on it. Misty Skunk, 4-9. So you get yourself some Series 4 cottages. You open them up. You find that Misty Skunk. Oh, ho, ho. You get yourself a rare pet hedgehog. OMG. But Series 4 is super hard to find. Well, they're all hard to find. Um, every now and then you'll see some pop up on eBay or something like that. You always want to be careful on eBay because you never know what you're going to get. I mean, it could have already been opened for all you know. Oh, but wait, there's one more rare pet in Series 4. Oh, yes. Let me see if I can find it. It's got to be around here somewhere. 
Where is it? There it is. Silver Owl 4-37. It's a white, clear, sparkly, glittery owl. And that right there gives you the rare Fennec Fox. But you know what? Nobody has ever gotten that. Now, there are a couple of Fennec Foxes in the game, but I think those were just people who worked for Animal Jam or Jazzwares just sort of testing out the codes, you know, because I've never seen anyone get the actual toy ever. I'm pretty sure they never even released it. I think they stopped making and shipping those out like in the middle of production and those never got shipped out but you never know they might start making them and shipping them out tomorrow you don't know like they could they, they might have put them in stores yesterday <laughs> you don't know you i mean who knows now there is some good news there is some bad news about um rare pets you might have seen my video where i said animal jam no longer works with jazz wares and the CEO of Animal Jam said, nope, we're, we're still with Jazzwares. It's still all good. We're still making toys, but we're sort of redoing all of our toys to make them better. So I don't know if they're going to be making more adopt pets They definitely won't make the old ones anymore. I mean, stores don't buy old toys. So they're not going to make series one, two, three, four, treasure. They won't make those, but they might make something totally brand new, like a whole new series or a whole new line of toys. I think how they should do it is each series has its own rewards instead of like all together, like each series, like if you get 10 from series five, you get a reward. If you collect all of series five, you get a reward. And then like series six would have its own rewards. And also, I think they should put clothing items in the series, you know? Because right now, it's just gems, diamonds, and you might get lucky enough to get a rare pet. So I think each series should have a rare clothing item in there also. And maybe a rare den item too. So I'm not sure if they're going to continue adopt a pets or not. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully they will have like some new toys out by summertime, something like that. Also, I think they should put a rare pet in the animal jam box. That would be sweet. If you had to come up with the rare pet, they just hired you. You're working at animal gym and they say, hey you, we need an idea for the next rare pet. It's your job. Tell us the next rare pet. What is it? Whoa, a rare pet whale. No, no, no. Um, you know what? Rare pet donkey. There you go. Rare pet donkey, uh, 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 a rare pet buffalo, rare pet Dalmatian. What about that? I mean, I know they have puppies, but let's like rare pet Dalmatian, that would be cool. I don't know, whatever. I need your help. You tell me, you name the next rare pet down in the comments, okay? All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Now you know where every single rare pet comes from. I need to make one thing very clear, and this is extremely important because a lot of people don't realize this. Just because you go out and you buy some cupcakes or you buy some cottages or treasure chests, you are not guaranteed to get a rare pet. You have to understand that each series has at least 96 different toys in it, okay? And only one of those gives you a rare pet, all right? So you're most likely gonna end up with gems, you might get lucky and get diamonds, and you might get super duper lucky and actually get the rare pet, but it's really, really, really hard to find. I mean, I've I've opened cases and cases and got no rare pet at all. Okay, so if you're thinking about buying some, just um, don't, don't, uh, don't count 
on getting a rare pet because you're probably not you might it's possible there's still there's still some out there but um good luck with that and congratulations if you happen to find one all right everybody thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something click that thumbs up button and we're gonna see you on the video